Hi, I am Zaheen and today we are going to understand how human beings live in this equatorial region. Welcome back. So today I am going to deal with the salient characteristic of this region then how this region is out of bioclimatic comfort zone and thereafter in order to survive what necessary adjustments human beings do. So let us start from the first aspect. Well the equatorial forest have a type of climate in which there is no dry season. It is hot and humid. So there is daily heavy rainfall and that is throughout the year call it as the convectional rainfall. In such condition, we can imagine what should be the humidity level. Let us tally this temperature and the related humidity with this bioclimatic chart. From the point of view of temperature, this region is well within the human comfort zone. But from the perspective of relative humidity, it is out of human comfort zone. Here what is important to understand, we feel warmer when the relative humidity is high so there is constant heat stress problem all this is because we are warm blooded living entities so consequently we make certain necessary adjustment meaning this now the other problem is hot moist conditions that is conducive for the breeding or the growth of microorganisms and the insects their growth is naturally very high which hampers the agricultural activity. Therefore, climate is inhospitable for human beings. Let us move on to the next question, how human being makes necessary adjustments. Under the hot conditions, the human body makes some internal regulatory adjustments like sweating which cools the skin temperature by this principle of physics. So this is actually this type of adaptation. Similarly, people of this region wear minimal clothing to expose their body for the perspiration process. This again assists in the cooling of the body. This is called this type of adaptation. We also know that sun during the daytime is overhead. I mean angle of incidence over the region remains high. So consequently, people living in this area schedule their daily activities like collection of the food in accordance to the sun's cycle. So what they do, they avoid heavy work during the daytime or when the sun is overhead. That is because they want to save their body from the heat stroke. Therefore, their economic activity is also adjusted with the environment. Like for example, traditional people living in this area are mainly engaged in these activities. The other adjustment is that they start their work early in the morning and remain sedentary during the afternoon. This is just to avoid these two resistances. One may also think from the environmental activist point of view that why people still practice shifting cultivation though it is harmful for the environment of this region. Yes, it is true. But here is the reason. The reason is that the shifting cultivation has two benefits. Number one, burning of forest for the cultivation kills insects and the microorganisms which are harmful for the cultivation of the crop. So they don't require these inputs. Second benefit is that the soil of this region is slightly acidic and the burning process reduces the acidity of the soil. Consequently, they don't require heavy doses of fertilizer. But in the long run, this system is harmful for the environment. Now let us move to what type of housing adjustment they make in this region. So under hot and humid condition, well, there is no perfect solution for the house type. During the daytime, this type of house is better, which is properly ventilated. And during the night time, when the temperature drops, this should be better. But both of them should be on the raised ground. Would you like to answer why it is so? Think in terms of this. So that is all for today. Kindly like my video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for listening and watching. 
बाय बाय